Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today's short video will be showing you how to store your Cardano ADA on your Ledger Nano X using ADA Light Wallet, which is a third party wallet that will connect to your Ledger Nano X so you can store your tokens offline. All right, so we're currently on Ledger Live Desktop Suite. I put my pin in on my Ledger Nano X. It is currently unlocked and I'm on the device manager section of the desktop suite. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna see Cardano here. And what I'm gonna do is take Cardano and I'm going to hit install. And now it's gonna install the application on my Ledger Nano X. That way I can create a wallet to link to via ADA Lite. If you look at your device right now, you'll see a progress bar that matches the bar on your Ledger Nano X screen here. And once this is done installing, we can head on over to ADA Lite and link our wallet to begin to uh, get ready to store tokens on there. All right, and as we can see, the Cardano application has installed on our Ledger Nano X, and now we can minimize our Ledger Live desktop suite and head on over to ADA Lite. Okay, so we're on ADA Lite.io right now, and before we link our hardware wallet to the third-party wallet here, what we're gonna do is go over to our device and make sure we are open on the Cardano application. So just head on over to your device, select Cardano, double click, and then once it connects, you'll be ready to link your device. So once that's finished, just go over here on the website and then choose hardware wallet, then choose unlock with ledger, hit Nano X, hit connect. It's gonna ask you for confirmation on your device before you actually can load the data. So you'll see confirm export six public keys question mark and you'll say confirm on your device. And once that's done, it will allow you to connect. Okay, now once it connects, you'll see there's a little news, a uh, little pop-up here that you can just uh, close. And now you'll see that we have connected onto our ADA Lite wallet, which is linked by our Ledger device. So now we can receive tokens. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to receive. And you can see here are my addresses on the Cardano network. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy my main address and I am going to go to the Medela Exchange where I currently have some Cardano available. I'm gonna plug in my address here and withdraw the tokens to my device. Okay, so my withdrawal has been submitted to my ADA Lite wallet, which is linked to my Ledger Nano X. So what I can do now is I will head back on over to ADA Lite and I'll show you one quick thing you can do to also verify to make sure that the address you're sending your tokens to is the correct address. So as you see here, there's this link that says verify on Ledger. This is a step you can do before you actually send your tokens to your wallet, just to make sure that the wallet address is correct. So you would just hit verify on Ledger and it'll say verifying address. Then you head on over to your device and you will see the spending pass, the key pass, and obviously your address, which you can match up. And mine looks perfect. So everything's good on that end. So now at this point I could safely uh, send my tokens to my account. Okay, so let's head on over to account number one here and we will wait for our ADA to arrive. All right, now back on ADA Lite here, I've refreshed my account balance and my ADA has arrived. If for some reason it still shows zero here, all you need to do is just hit refresh and also make sure that your Ledger Nano X for some reason hasn't gone to sleep. Just make sure that it's unlocked and ready to rock. Uh, now that my account balance has shown up and my ADA is on my account, I can unplug my Ledger Nano X and put it away and my tokens are safely stored offline. If I want to reverse this whole entire process and then send these tokens back out, what I can do is I'll just refresh the page here and go as if I'm starting fresh. So what we can do now is go and log back in, go to our hardware wallet, unlock with Ledger, load the wallet data, confirm it on our device, log back into our account, make sure that our Ledger Nano X is unlocked, the pin has been put in, and then just go to close here. You can see I'm in my wallet, my tokens are here. If I wanna send, I would just hit send. I would go to receiving address, paste in my address, the amount that I wanna send. It'll tell me the fee that it's gonna cost me to send this transaction. There it is, I can hit send now and confirm my transaction. And now it's gonna ask me to confirm my transaction on my Ledger Nano X, which I'm gonna do right now. Sing it to this address. After that's done, the transaction will be pending and being sent via the Cardano blockchain back to the deposit address that I have sent them to. Take a look here, you can see that the transaction is currently pending. 
And once it is completed, it will let us know. And there you go, transaction has been successful and my ADA balance has gone back down to zero and my tokens have been sent back to my exchange wallet on Mandala Exchange. And that's pretty much the entire process. I've shown you guys how to set up your ADA application on the Ledger Nano X. I have then showed you how to link it to adalite.io, the website, the intermediary wallet that connects to your Ledger Nano X. I've shown you how to send ADA to this wallet and how to then withdraw it back to another address. If you like the content that you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps us grow. And if you have any issues at all, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thanks and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.